of course not because I deserve okay we all deserve another vlog it's 6 40 in the morning and i'm all wrapped up and warm looking like somebody's frail mum um i'm off on my daily walks um i don't know if you guys know but i've been doing my daily walks um well i try to do them every day i've been doing that for the last two weeks in order you know get this body right okay and just look good in general and just feel better these daily walks have really been helping my mental health as well as well as my physical health and just feeling a lot better about myself about to do my first daily walk of the week today is monday monday the 15th of march actually my goal every day is 10k steps so i just kind of walk around my area and then i come back but yeah welcome back to z vlog um i don't want to carry my vlog camera with me because it's quite heavy so i will try and vlog some stuff on my phone but yeah um i will talk to you guys when i get back but for now let's go walking <laughs> this spot is ruining my life guys but i am i'm like almost halfway through my walk I like to just like listen to music or watch some YouTube videos while I'm walking and like this route at the best of times is like really um, quiet and just calm and just peaceful and I just get my head together for the rest of the day. Let me show y'all the view. I look a hot mess. I really have to keep the lays on so I don't get cold. But tomorrow, I don't think I need as much layers because it's getting warmer. How many layers is that? Okay, guys. So I've got my waist trainer on. Sweat belt or a waist trainer? I don't know. But this is from Sculpted by Arez. Oh. Wow. Free them. It's 8.21, so I left the house at like 6.40, 6.45. So, a good time. A good time. A good time. And I completed my 10K steps, which I'm super happy about. Obviously, I do 10K steps every day, but... And I just use the steps app to do is get rid of these um the um love handles but they're going bit by bit but um my battery's about to die so I'm gonna shower because I'm so sweaty and get ready for the rest of my day and then I'll be back. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, hi guys. Sorry, I've kind of neglected you today. Um, I've been busy filming. I filmed a makeup reel with some like new in makeup bits, PR bits. So what I actually wanted to do today is actually get into a spring, summer kind of haul. I have quite a few bits that I actually want to show you. Some bits that were kindly gifted to me from ASOS. And then I have some bits that I bought myself and I have a gift also from Louis Vuitton. So there's actually going to be a little mini Louis Vuitton unboxing. I do like doing like mini little hauls inside my vlogs. I feel like they're just a bit more chill and relaxed. And yeah, I just like switching it up for you guys. Uh, I picked up some really cute spring summer stuff. It is getting me so excited for the outside. ASOS Design Wide Fit Ferris Chunky flip-flop sandals in peach and I got these in a UK size 5. I thought these are so fetch like these are stinking cute they're definitely going back into the are these like a 2000 style beautiful like peach color can you guys see that I got these in a size five but i think i could have done with a size up and get a size six saw a another pair of these in a mint color which i also want to get my hands on actually seen them in makai's zara haul and then i was like well clearly i made the right decision the next thing i picked up is actually a co-ward spring and summer is coming soon even i speak now it's still light outside and it's getting to four o'clock and usually in december it would have been dark by now like pitch black but it's still light outside and it just makes me so happy this is the asos design super oversized t-shirt in neon wash in pink and it comes with a matching asos design co-ward shorter length cotton legging shorts in washed hot pink they're as bright as they look on camera neon pink shorts they're not a cycling short so they still look i think if it was a cycling short it would look a bit jazz it'd look a bit raz oversized neon pink t-shirt and this is what it looks like so i got the t-shirt in a size 12 and the shorts in a size 10 white chanel trainers or even like any colored like really cute trainers this is called the as you polo romper in cream maybe i need to get it in a smaller size because it looks good on the model but the shorts looked really like short and tight so hence why I got a size 12 because I didn't want it to be like I didn't want it to be batty riders on me well like play suit and then it's got buttons all the way going up here I know you guys can't see it properly because of the light and whatnot but it's long sleeve as well and then it comes into these really like cute shorts reason why I picked this up because I had seen a really really similar jumpsuit like play suit from Zara last year. It was sold out online, sold out in all the shops and this jumpsuit really reminded me of this. I might as well just go on Depop and find somebody who's selling that actual Zara jumpsuit because this was just not giving. These are called the As You Stir Up Legging in Sand and I got these in a UK size 10. The stir up legging was really really big last year as well and it has come back for another summer so just in this really gorgeous like ecru stony beige color I actually got these in a size 10 i think the 12 would have been fit nicely but then been a bit too big at the back i actually wanted to pair it with like this really gorgeous pink crop top that i got from zara so you guys will see that in an instagram picture you can pair this multiple ways beige kind of big oversized dad blazer with some like really gorgeous heels and a crop top would look stunning spring summer ready for when the outside is open then i picked up another pair of pants and these are the asos Lux ultimate contour pedal pusher in black and i got these in a uk size 10 oh my god these are so nice they're stretchy but like a 
I wouldn't say this is nylon, but like a trouser material. What I really like is that they have this elasticated waistband at the back, which makes the trousers fit so nicely. I absolutely love these. I have a really gorgeous outfit that I want to style it with. Cream, like crop top, oversized like beige dad blazer with some heels. Mwah, chef kiss so then i actually haven't tried this on so i'll try this on today i picked up this asos edition split side midi skirt co-ward in caramel but the color says beige and i got this in a uk size 12 I've actually seen this on a instagram babe but she had the actual co-ward i wasn't a fan of the matching top that this skirt came with this skirt looks like this and then i think it's got the split coming down the middle so this is looking a bit big so i'm gonna try this on put this on with like a beige or stone kind of bodysuit and then some like a uh, Hermes sliders and like you're literally just good to go and then I picked up this gorgeous blazer which I've already tried on and it fits perfectly it's just a bit too small on the arms because I picked up the petite I don't know why but I will be returning this to get the normal size the ASOS design petite single breasted slim dad suit blazer in perfect pink and I got this in a UK size 14 I could have really done with a 16, not because it's too small, just because I really wanted to get that dad blazer effect. How stunning is this blazer? This is my most favorite thing. This is a bit of me. This is screaming spring, summer 2021. You guys know I love pink. So this is just like just a bit of me. Last thing I picked up in this haul is a pair of pajamas because you can never have too many pajamas the asos design mix and match satin candy stripe pajama shorts multi and i got the shorts in a size 10 these look like they'll fit really nicely but how cute are these please and i picked up the matching short sleeve top short sleeve um satin top and this is what it looks like especially for summer it's just so appropriate, don't you think? Cannot do a haul without including pajamas, okay? Really big thank you to ASOS for kindly gifting me those bits. Picked up this really gorgeous bag for the spring summer season. Go with a lot of things that I picked up um, from ASOS. An Emilio Pucci bag, and look how stunning this bag is, please, guys. Is it zooming in? This is actually supposed to be a cosmetics bag. Imagine this bag with this blazer i actually got this from depop you guys know that depop is like my one stop shop for like really gorgeous designer vintage items i have one more thing that i bought before i get in with the louis vuitton unboxing this is from makai's clothing brand so spring summer guys when i saw this dress i could not resist so it's this gorgeous knit halter neck knit dress and it's like stretchy fabric as well it's not like super stretchy but it's a good enough stretch got this little cut out detail at the front and then it it's like a halter neck like i told you guys and then it's got the ruching detail on the bum as well i got this in an extra small now we're moving on to the louis vuitton unboxing these were actually a gift from my boyfriend i've been talking about these for a year i just absolutely love them let's go ahead and open them up <gasps> oh it's, voila guys It's the wrong way around but <gasps> so we're gonna try them on absolutely love these the perfect accessory for any outfit these earrings are just so divine i think that's pretty much all i have to say i haven't eaten all day like all day so i'm gonna go find something to eat and then i'm gonna start editing the makeup reel that i um filmed today i done absolutely nothing apart from okay i tidied my room and i have just finished eating while well, i'm in the middle of eating and i'm watching 
um vanity fair com confidential true crime documentaries i really enjoy watching them if you're a crime lover true crime lover defo um give them a watch because there's loads and like loads of you for you to binge on i haven't done any editing i'm gonna do some editing now and then i'm gonna put on a face mask good morning guys um we're having a late start this morning i'm off on my daily walk but i fell asleep really early yesterday like i think i fell asleep at nine like before 10 o'clock because i fell asleep so early i woke up in the middle of the night at like three and i had to kind of like force myself to go back to sleep so i finally fell asleep around like four going on to five and now i'm up again and i'm tired it's just about to be 7 a.m so i'm gonna start a walk i'm gonna see if i can try like cut down the time but hopefully we finish on time let's go so i'm back from my morning walk um i was kind of a bit lazy this morning because obviously i didn't i was in and out of sleep last night so you know a bit yeah let's press office i have to run a few errands and do a little bit of grocery shopping and then i'll be back and we can start the rest of the day but i'm just taking this day like really slow because I'm a bit tired, okay? So really not supposed to be chewing gum because of because of my ulcer, but I don't know why I decided that's what I should do. I'm wearing my LV earrings to the post office and to do grocery shopping because I'm motherfucking extra and like I just want to wear my earrings. I just feel like they're just so cute. I'm actually obsessed with them. Back from doing my errands. And I got my groceries. I don't know why I keep on my own groceries. I love my shopping. Wonky blueberry. Mango chunks. I absolutely love snacking on mangoes and crushed chili honey but not knowing that my dad actually bought honey so i didn't need to buy it so i'll just keep this away Anna's chicken drumsticks king prawns pineapple tracks infused olive oil so it's infused with garlic and then this one is infused with chili chocolate buns whole meal pizza bread I now started dr drinking oat milk just because yeah my body is a bit a bit much elimination process type of thing and just cut down on the things that might be causing all the problems but to be honest like this morning i woke up i still had a belly ache like i just don't know oat milk is actually not that bad because i tried was it almond milk before and that was just a bunch of bollocks blueberries to the porridge <laughs> a hot mess right now yesterday i was editing in the evening and as per usual i fell asleep I get really lazy in the evening i don't know what it is i'm supposed to start this week in preparation for today but i didn't do that i was supposed to do a face mask and steam my face i didn't do that i'm ready to go on my walk I'm starting my walk a bit later on like yesterday because um I'm waiting for my airpods to charge away. I conked out. I did the same thing yesterday. It's not even funny. Burnt myself again with my curly wand. So just another scar I have to work to get rid of. So uh, I'm definitely have to film a TikTok today. So I'm gonna do a TikTok with 
the Louis Vuitton earring really cool tip look that I found I'll show you guys um, um I think I'm also gonna film a makeup video all right I'm thinking to film a hair video and go to Jamila's house to take um to take um, content I think tomorrow I might not do my, my walk and do some exercises instead because I'm trying to lose weight um, on my waist, stomach, like love handles, but I'm not trying to lose this ass, honey. I mean, I can never really well truly lose the ass, but I want it to remain perky. Maybe I should do some squats, some oblique workouts. You know how that goes. My airpods have charged enough, so off I go. It's several hours later. Oh, I have cramps, I have cramps. I've been getting these really strong, really strong cramps for the past like two, three days. And I don't know what they are. I was on my period last week or the week before, so. It's not anywhere near me being on my period again so i just there should be no reason for that even when i was on my walk this morning like i literally had to stop in the midst of walking just been kind of like puttering around and doing some stuff but so i was actually gonna film a tiktok and some a youtube video today decided that tomorrow I'm going to film the YouTube video first thing in the morning and then film the TikTok content and then I'm going to go to Jamila's house to take some at home picture, at home content pictures. So be like a full day of content and I'm actually putting on makeup to be putting on makeup, not just for one thing. So yeah, so I decided today I'm just going to edit and do some admin, editing my Zara haul, which hopefully should go up this weekend trying to fight the um the battle of procrastination i'm just feeling very fidgety and very unnerved but i just need to woosa. Thursday. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm about to work out, adding a workout into my routine. Walking is going to be Monday to Wednesday or whatever days I choose, and then the rest of the two days working out. So I'm working out this morning. I did wake up at six this morning. <laughs> you guys i felt like absolute poop i felt so crap my legs were burning my whole back was aching i was just like no i have to get up because if i don't do my workout today that means like i'm not building the habit i'm not working through it i'm just letting my body accept defeat and we ain't doing it over here okay so i power through it i power through the pain a really good um workout on this friday <laughs> Hi guys, clear doing my hair. So I'm about to film a makeup video. A really not rough day, and I mean, well, like the day's not even finished, but it's just been a really trying day, like a very trying day. And you know when you're just really having to 
I can't really talk too much about what's been trying me, but you know when you're just really having to put like all your trust and your hopes and your dreams and that you're just having to put all your trust in god and that can be like very daunting i'm very much a control freak like i need to be in control of all situations at all times so when i feel like i'm not in control i get so much anxiety and i literally just had a breakdown this morning if it's not what god wants for me then it won't happen but it's just like <sighs> but i want this I want this, so things that God doesn't give you is definitely always, not definitely, but always for a reason. I need a new curling wand because this one is ridiculous. Pat to Wusa. I don't know if any of you guys can relate to this or not, but listen, you know when you want something so bad for yourself and you just convince yourself that, yeah, this is it, but God's like... That ain't it, dog. It's a no for me, dog. And you're just like, oh, but why? Like, this is definitely the definition of your faith being tested because no matter what happens, you have to hold on to the fact that you know that God's got you. It's very hard to distract myself when I'm anxious, but I've got quite a couple of things to do today, so... I need to get a move on with that. I'm holding on to hope. I'm holding on to my faith. And that regardless. Who will never give me less than what I deserve. And I believe that. And even on the days that I don't believe that. I just have to repeat it to myself regardless. They say blind faith. Ha. Huh. They really meant it, Sha. They really meant it. Life is really laughing right now. I'm going to put on... Um, a crime documentary kind of distracts myself while I'm doing my hair. Isn't that weird? Like, I'm putting on a crime documentary so I can feel better. I am a total weirdo. Hey guys, so I'm on my second outfit. I'm at Jamila's house taking con temperatures, like I told you guys. I'm in this cute little romper from, from Revolve, but yeah. Um... We're just gonna take some pictures. Hello guys. Let me just try to get unready. It's not gonna be extensive. It's literally gonna be like two minutes. Get unready. Um, with me. Little thingy magic. So I wanted to show you guys what I've been using. So I use the Bio Free Your Pores Charcoal Deep Pore Charcoal Cleanser to get in the nitty gritty and get rid of all that gunk. And then I use the Wishful Yoga Yoga the Wishful Yoglo Enzyme Scrub. And I really, really like this. I just re upped and bought another one the other day because it's so good. That and the Chem Beauty Exfoliant really does wonder for my skin. So, what I would actually just put on a mask today, seeing as today is Sunday. My skin is going through it. And also, like, I keep on getting these new scars from spots all over my face. And it's not making me so happy. So I'm going to be using the Chem Beauty Pink Clay Face Mask. This is, like, an oldie but goodie. I've had this for, like, quite some time. But um, I go back to it, like, from time to time. I will tell you why I remembered why this is so good in a second like i really do love chem beauty skincare like honestly can you guys see this you can come in a little closer so basically this babe she used the exact same mask i used the shop chem beauty the chem beauty pink clay face face mask sorry and she used it six days straight and these were the results so the top is the before and the bottom is the after i'm gonna be using this every day i'm gonna be 
trying this using it every day for like the next six days and see the results chem beauty does what it needs to be doing i also have a discount code lisa 10 so if you guys want to go and grab this and give this a go um one thing i also love is the super skin cleanser as you can see i've finished it i need to top up on this as well like chem beauty is just everything okay i'm gonna go and end this vlog here um i'm hoping you guys are having a brilliant day or evening whenever this vlog goes out um thank you guys for all the support all the love i don't know i feel like i don't say that enough like i generally it means the world to me that you guys like really fuck with my shit i think i'm a bit delirious being so tired but yeah um I really really love you guys a lot if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please don't forget to subscribe hit that like button if you want to see more content like this and you want to see more vlogs and yeah I will see you guys in the next one bye